21st century Doing something mean to it Do it better than anybody you ever seen Do it, screams from the haters Got a nice ring to it I guess every superhero need his theme music No one man should have all that power Hey, what's up? This is day two of vlog 30 day video challenge for August I'm here at the rec center in Rochester, New York, as you can see. I don't even I don't even play basketball though, but I thought it'd be a good place to shoot the video. <laughs> but anyways, um, so basically this is day two. Uh, like I said, actually I didn't say. My name is Nate Taylor, also known as the GIF, poet, actor. Uh, actually going to school soon. Very proud about that. New York City, going to uh, the acting studio. School starts September. I'll be there for like two years, so I'm very excited about that. But anyways, as far as today, um, I'm gonna hit you up with a little treat. I'm actually in a YouTube series. We filmed a month ago in Atlanta. Uh, we all, we about to film soon uh, in um, Fort Lauderdale. Well, Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. And basically a YouTube series called Relationship Deal Breaker. And it basically deals with the whole topic of what's a deal breaker for you in a relationship? For example, say you come home and you find your, your significant other with a bit in a bed with somebody else. But you know, is that a deal breaker for you? Now to most people, they'd be like, yeah, psh, I ain't, yeah, I'm not messing with somebody if I find them cheating, but people do it all the day. People do it all the time. So really that's not a relationship deal breaker for some people. But situations like that, or say you got a, a significant other and she don't support your dreams and your goals in life, like would that be a deal breaker for you? So that's what the YouTube series uh, deals with. So I'm about to show you in a minute, is basically um, a panel we did a panel for the YouTube series and basically we, you know, ask certain people, uh, you know, what's the deal breaker for them in a relationship? Well, me personally, to add a little more, you know, comic kind of sway to it, I basically play three different characters. I play uh, a guy, he's called Mr. Mr. Nerdy. Uh, second guy is Mr. Nar Narcissistic. Uh, the third guy is like Mr. Mr. Ghetto. And basically, each one of these individuals are asked um, a deal breaker question and they answer it based on their own personal personality. You get what I'm saying? So, person I'm gonna show you now is Mr. Nerdy. I think the question he's being asked is, uh, uh, what if your mate emotionally abuses you? You know, is that deal breaker for you? So like I said, these are comic, comical skits that I, that I uh, devised myself, just to add a little more flavor to the more serious topic of relationships and what's a deal breaker in a relationship. So, I really hope you enjoy it. Like I said, this is your boy, Nate Taylor, also known as a GIF. Hashtag um, know the gift. Uh, enjoy the video. All right, and I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Is is that what they say in the hood? Or I don't... keep it real is fine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. yeah, because I didn't I didn't grow up in the streets, so um, okay. So basically, I have a situation that I went through in the past. Um, it's, it relates to basically what you're referring to. Um, and, and it was definitely a deal breaker. I'm gonna tell you why, because I had a woman that hurt me. She hurt me, she hurt me a lot. Okay, basically, uh, hold on a second. You okay? Yeah, I, I'm just, I've never actually conf confided in someone about this, but my, my ex used to tell me, or basically when she got mad, she would talk about how my penis was uncircumcised. And basically, my penis is uncircumcised. Oh, okay. So, so based on that, you know, she would do when she's angry, or if I wouldn't do what she wanted me to do, or when she had her little tantrum tantrums and stuff, and she would talk about my little uncircumcised penis, you know. And 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 some, I've had, you know, you know, psychiatrists say, well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with an uncircumcised penis? Well, you know, I'm not like I'm different than these guys. You know, I can't just whip out my 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 my, my circumcised penis, you know, and say, hey, world, you know, because if I whip it out, you know, dirt gets in it. You know, I can get infection. Right. So basically, I can't be with someone that's going to talk about my imperfections. You know, I'm a smart guy. I'm successful. You know, I, 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 t I take care of my, my myself and, and, and my family. Um, but um, basically, you know, if I have little imperfections, my my dick is a little uncircumcised for you. You know, if it looks like an ant eater, you know, hey, you know, it, I, I can't be perfect. 